Hi friends, let's discuss another question like what are the different key features of Apache Spark. So we'll try to evaluate all those different features available in Apache Spark with respect to existing Hadoop file system or even a Hadoop ecosystem. So first one is a polyglot. So if you are a R programmer or a Python programmer, Scala or a Java programmer, as all those functionality of Apache Spark has been written in a Scala, but you do not require to necessarily know about the Scala. The APIs are available in R, Python, Scala and Java. So from all those different kind of programming language, you can access all those functionality of the Apache Spark. Apart from that, there is interactive cells are available for the Scala and a Python. So you can just directly go to the bin folder of the installation directory of your Apache Spark and just fire the command like a spark cell or a pi spark and you can straight away start executing all those python or a scala functions in terms of speed spark is almost 10 to 100 times faster than a hadoop in terms of speed why that is faster because there are lots of operation almost all operation happens in a in memory only so because of that lots of disk IO related operation has been reduced so no reading to the Hadoop distributed file system or no writing to the Hadoop distributed file system so those kind of processing time is almost reduced and only computation time uh, spark will take into consideration that's why Apache spark is almost 10 to 100 times faster there are lots of multiple format it supports like a perquet file format or even you can read all those uh, database which is available in a json or apache hive cassandra database you can even use existing hadoop distributed file system to directly read data inside the spark environment so there is no specific file system has been created for the uh, hadoop but there are lots of different file system through which you can read the data into spark environment one of the very important feature which is not available in existing Hadoop ecosystem which is nothing but the lazy evolution. So let's try to understand this lazy evolution with respect to the two different functionality of the Apache Spark. So there is a two kind of operation generally happens while doing the data processing in Spark environment. One is kind of transformation and one is kind of action. So transformation is nothing but it just convert one type of RDD object into another kind of the RDD object and for that lots of different APIs and operators are available like a map filter or even a reduce by key kind of operation and there is another kind of operation which is nothing but the action action will take uh, with the help of API like a collect so you want to extract or all those data you want to take all those data or you want to save those data with the help of command like a save as a text file now with respect to this one what does this lazy evolution means now to understand what this lazy evolution let's try to concentrate on this piece of code now if you see this two p two lines of code you can just straight away see that the first line is simply reading the file so even if you are sending the wrong path in the case of this Hadoop distributed file system as an input to the argument of this text file function you do not necessarily get the error when you compile the code after that you are applying this map function to do some kind of operation on the top of data so these two operations are nothing but the transformation operation so even if something goes wrong while compilation the it won't actually extract the data directly from the database it is just the transforming uh, data but it is not actually taking those data that means till you do not ask for any kind of action related operation on the top of this data it won't execute it just compile it and it will store as a graph in their local system of uh, apache spark environment now let's see another two operation like a count dot take so it will just asking for the first 
10 record out of all database available and another one is a save as a text file so you want to save whatever the process data into another environment like a HDFS file system so here you are taking some kind of action you are just transforming action so while running this code you usually feel like the first step is it is start reading file the second step is it is mapping data to the one form into another form but actually there is nothing like this kind of operation happens that's why it is called the lazy evolution but once you start taking action so you want to ask for the data like a, with the help of this take function or a collect function or you want to save those data into text file it start executing earlier function also so this doesn't make sometimes sense but with respect to the big data technology it always makes sense that you do not ask for any data unless and until it won't execute so when you ask for any kind of data at that time only it will start executing all those statements and before that whatever the transformation related action you have applied it won't take into consideration so that is nothing but the lazy evolution so in the case of evolution this part is very much lazy another one is the real time computation so all those computation happens in a in memory that's why it's very much uh, uh, faster and for that spark provides a spark streaming uh, module integration with the hadoop ecosystem is very easy because uh, you can uh, straight away read all those hadoop distributed file system if your data is available in hdfs file system you can read it there is no specific file system which apache spark has created so it is taking the advantage of existing hdfs file system so those who are hadoop related engineer hadoop related programmer they can take advantage of it even uh, there is a plug and play component for the cluster management available in like uh, yarn and uh, apache yarn and apache masos kind of uh, cluster management also you can use it like a plug and play system in case of apache spark so there are some component of hadoop ecosystem you can straight away remove it and put the apache uh, spark kind of component uh, on the top of it and it easily integrates with this Hadoop ecosystem. So these are some of the main key features of the spark uh, ecosystem or a spark and there are apart from that there are a lot of libraries which is running on the top of this spark core functionality like a uh, machine learning library graphx library for the graphics related algorithm spark xql for the executing the data relational database query like a sql query or a spark streaming which is equivalent to the apache strom in a hadoop ecosystem so there are a lot of things you can remove it from the hadoop ecosystem and plug and play all the components of the apache spark so that is the big advantage of the apache sparks so these are all some of the main features of the apache spark and that's all about this uh, tutorial friends i hope you enjoy listening this video and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please please do subscribe it Thank you.